Hey guys, welcome to the largest grocery haul I have ever uploaded on my channel, ever. I don't even think I've done a Costco haul this large. It was, oh my gosh, such a long day. We got to the grocery store at like 10 something. Yeah, like 10 something. We didn't leave till three. And this, then we had to take two carts, two trips, and it was about $640. Mm -hmm. Now let me preface this with, you guys have seen my grocery hauls before. We never buy this many groceries in one month. Typically our cap is about 400, 450. And um, <laughs> it was a lot more because I really stocked up on healthier items for the 21 day fix. And then also there's a ton of baking stuff for Christmas, which I don't know if you guys will watch this before Christmas. I'm filming it right before Christmas, but for Christmas Eve and for Christmas Day, and then for New Year's Eve night, we're hosting both day, both Christmas Eve and Christmas and New Year's Eve at our house. So this was definitely way more than um, than we would ever buy, and I never buy baking stuff. So that was a huge cost. Plus, I bought wine for tomorrow for Christmas Eve and for New Year's Eve. So, without further ado, let's just go get into it. I'm gonna show you kind of like an overall picture of how much I got, and then I'll break it down. I even had to bust into this counter over here, which I never do. So first thing, I picked up six bottles of the um, Sutter Home Pink Moscato. It was really not that expensive, but we never buy wine, so I got a case of that. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the meat separate because I need to put it away in the freezer because I don't want it to go bad. So I got two things of the lean beef stew meat. Um, this They're both a little over a pound, and I got it like this instead of the big one because for my family, it's just easier to have this. This is about what we eat. The other one, I'd have to break it up into two freezer meals or cook it and freeze it and recook it. So um, yeah, I just decided to get it like that. I also got some beef cut up for stir fry. So essentially this is just lean beef and it's already cut up into little strips. So not a bad price though for that. I also picked up a um, rump roast. Uh, this is the first time that I've used a beef rump roast. Usually I use pork. So I'm excited to see how that is. I got a big old thing of salmon. I don't even know. I think this it's right under three pounds. So I don't know, it was about $20. Some chicken drumsticks. We got some breakfast sausage. This I'm going to use. There's three different ones, but they're all, this is regular pork sausage. No, this is regular. That's all natural. And this one is a country mild. I don't know what the difference is. I got them because they came free with the cheese, the um, Velveeta cheese that I bought. I also bought some beef cube steaks. We haven't had this in a while. I like to um, put some breadcrumbs over this and kind of pan fry it. It's really good. I bought some beef top round steak for Melanessa. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It's like thin steak. Essentially it's this. This is what it started out as. So I just bought this. It's a little bit more expensive, but I could either chop it up for like stir fry or I could actually pan fry it for the Melanissa or however you pronounce it. Um, some cream cheese jalapeno poppers for Christmas. So we're going to fry up those bad boys or actually bake them. These are sirloins for Andres. None of us eat steak except him. But this actually wasn't that bad. This is three and a half pounds, $24, which seems like a lot. But when we go out to eat, if he gets even just like a nine ounce sirloin or ribeye or 10 ounces, I mean, he's going to pay 20 bucks. So this was a good deal. And then we also got some uh, pollo in uh, achiote. It's just chi uh, seasoned chicken leg quarters. And as you can see, it's pretty inexpensive. Three twenty four for this whole pack. So... I got four of them and they're all kind of around the same price and it was really good. We had them the other day. So that's the meat that we got this time around. Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. I literally had to stack up on so many things to get it to even fit on the counter. It's just crazy. So I guess let's start over here. Yakisoba, yakisoba teriyaki beef. We got four of those. We got six total of the um, fruit cups. Tropical fruit, mandarin oranges, pineapple tidbits, diced peaches, mixed fruit, and diced pears. 
I got um, the Easy Melt Party Cheese. I got three uh, two-pound things of that to cut that up. We are doing Chips and Kessel for New Year's Eve. So I got that. Picked up this classic mix of the little individual packs for the girls. Um, back here I have two things of the chicken flavored stuffing. In hindsight, I don't even know why I picked it up. I think it was because it was on sale and just to have it. Two things of the Barilla, Barilla, I don't know, veggie pasta, the penne. We wanted to try that. And then if you bought this coffee, which is a cafe au lait, cappuccino, and caramel, you got the um, Coffee Mate Original Creamer for free. So we picked that up. One can of the Petite Diced Tomatoes. Um, back here I have some croutons and some salad kickers, the Southwest Corn and Cashew. Two things of the Easy Melt Shells and Cheese, and two things of the Deluxe Macaroni and Cheese Pasta. I'm going to do the baking stuff in a little while. I got a seasoning pack of lettuce wraps, and then I can't even tell you how many taco mix packs. I use this for my chili and my taco soup. I want to go to Costco and pick up the big thing of it so I don't have to have these little packs, but this is what I have for right now. Back here I have two orange juices, two of the old fashioned oats for Andres, two pineapple juices that's to go with um, a liquor of some sort over the holidays. And then let me do this baking stuff. I have some evaporated milk, some sweetened condensed milk, the fat free for recipes. I also have some marshmallow cream for the recipe. And this is like a bunch of recipes. And if you follow my vlog channel regularly, I'll probably post some of them on there at some point. Some walnut chips, confectioner's powder sugar. I have some vanilla extract, almond extract. Two things of food coloring, just the regular squeeze bottles. Some peanut butter chips for melting. I got white chocolate chips for melting. Two of the special dark chocolate chips for melting, pecan halves, the regular milk chocolate morsel, morsels for melting, and some more brown sugar. I also picked up two of the wild berry muffin mixes. Over here I got a big thing of popcorn. These came also free with the coffee and the creamer. So the nutty blonde cookie Oreos for Oreo balls. And then on the desk got these pecan shortbread um, cookies. We picked up these spin brushes for him and I with the little replacement heads. Got four things of pudding for the girls, two chocolate, two vanilla. Picked up some fiber one protein bars, the coconut almond, and the cookies and cream. Two pack of these Lance Variety Cracker sandwiches. They come with creamy cheese and chives, peanut, honey, peanut butter and honey, and grilled cheese. So I got two of those. Um, Andres' favorite cheese, it's the hot and spicy, so we got three boxes of those for him. Some dill, sea salt, and olive oil Triscuits, and then a bigger box of the original Triscuits. Uh, over here we got mixed nuts, the unsalted, so this one comes with like walnuts, cashews, pecans, um, whatever those big giant nuts are, I don't even know. But a whole bunch of different nuts, unsalted, I think they're roasted though. Uh, oh, Brazil, Brazil nuts hazelnuts, cashew almonds, and pecans. And then we got two things of the raw almonds. Some chips, um, just regular ijole chips. And then I wanted to try the cilantro lime. We got some wheat thins, the toast, the whole multigrain ones. Some scoops, party size scoops, that's for the dip. Either tomorrow or for New Year's, same thing here. On the border, fiesta size chips. These came free. Uh, oh, when you bought the cheese, the cheese that you cut up for queso, this came free as well as sausage. So I got three of the H-E-B tortilla brand chips, a thing of this popped, like, rice cakes. Oh my gosh, this is so much. <laughs> I'm like running out of breath. Another thing of the, um, like little fun packs for the girls. They love those and it's much easier to travel with. And then a fun pack of the goldfish as well. Moving on over here. We have some white um, long green rice, a big bag of it. We have some nacho jalapenos, a bunch of tuna. This is the big five ounce pack. Um, I think there's 15 of them. And I got a bunch because, again, when I'm eating on the 21 day fix, I usually have tuna salad. So this only will last me two weeks. Uh, big thing of the traditional ragu. 
some canola oil for baking, a thing of fancy ketchup, oh, paste mild sauce, two things of creamy peanut butter, pack of Italian salad dressing, I use that for Italian chicken, pack of the Blanco rice seasoning and the Rojo rice seasoning. Some salad dressings here. I have the Olive Garden balsamic vinaigrette. I've never tried that one. Some zesty Italian um, dressing for it for Italian chicken. Light buttermilk ranch for the girls and their carrots. And then I got garlic Italian also for chicken. Picked this up for the girls for New Year's sparkling cider so they could feel special. <laughs> some salad toppers, um, bacon bits. We got some onion powder. I really need to go to Costco because... I love this onion powder, but I hate that it comes in such a small package. Some mayo for my cilantro ranch dip. Four sodas, uh, some Hawaiian punch, and ginger ale back here for that same juice that I did over at the Girl Scouts party. It was really good. You just mix these two with orange juice. Super good. I got a Sprite and a Coke for um, mixers for drinks. Two things of artichoke hearts and some roasted garlic pizza sauce. Light corn syrup for a recipe that I'm doing, a big thing of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, vinegar to clean and to wash towels with, Ap apple cider vinegar for some recipe I couldn't even tell you. Now here's to the healthier stuff. Well, bread first. Let me do bread. I got two of the thin and crispy, one regular pizza crust, and one of the whole wheat so that we can make our own pizzas. I got some whole wheat English muffins, whole wheat bagels, a couple things of corn tortillas, oh those smash that, um, hot dog buns, and some Sara Lee 45 calorie whole wheat bread. Okay, now is the good stuff. I have some plums here. These are just like larger plums, I got a few of them. Some Meyer lemons, we have a Meyer lemon tree in the back, so we like to see what they're actually going to taste like when they start to grow. Some mandarins, a three pound bag there. I did get these individual for salads. Cauliflower florets, broccoli florets, uh, celery sticks, and fresh green beans. That's a two pound pack. I got some pears. Big thing of grapes, two things of grapes there. Jalapeno peppers, fresh ones for the dip. Some zucchini. We've got a ton of red delicious apples. One, two, three bags here. Some cilantro for my cilantro ranch dip. Two things of cantaloupe. Two um, pineapples. Those were only 98 cents. That was a really good deal. I don't think it's pineapple season. That's probably why. Some mangoes. Lots of, lots of bananas. Uh, tons of sweet potatoes. And I intentionally did it this time. If you watch my vlogs, I did an Instacart and got like 30 potatoes delivered to us. But we deliberately did this for dinner tomorrow and then also just to have a little watermelon some small gala apples for the girls honeydew melon couple cucumbers some carrots I got shredded cabbage to do sausage and cabbage one night for dinner I could have bought the big thing and shredded it I didn't want to same thing here I got some sliced green onion I didn't feel like shredding it or slicing it so I bought them sliced some spring mix which I use for salads a bunch of um, avocados there Two things of strawberries, one for a recipe and one for the girls to eat. Some small red potatoes, three gallons of milk, um, two things of the unsalted butter, three things of cream cheese for recipes, uh, whipped uh, cream cheese to spread, sour cream for a recipe, um, some cheese tortellini, and some jumbo cheese stuffed shells. These are both frozen. I got a frozen cheesecake for a recipe. A big thing of the smoked turkey breast sandwich meat, two dozen eggs, and two crescent rolls for, uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. I got some hot dogs, the chicken hot dogs, and the turkey hot dogs, just to give them a shout out, or try. Shout out, I don't know where I got that from. You know, I didn't realize this was $11. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I thought this was uh, $4.97. That's kind of disappointing. But I got some sausage, original, just smoked sausage for um, the sausage and cabbage. Some honey ham for Andres' sandwiches. Some turkey bacon for the 21 Day Fix, just the Jenny O brand. And then I bought, bought Little Smokies. So I'm going to make pigs in a blanket. That's what the crescent roll. And this is for also for um, New Year's because we're having ham 
for Christmas. I got some sweet potato fries, some Jimmy Dean delights, the English muffin with the egg whites, a couple things of yogurt for the girls, banana, uh, strawberry and banana and peach, some turkey pepperoni slices for our homemade pizzas, string cheese with some mozzarella for the girls, mozzarella to be able to shred up for our pizza, a couple things of the jalapeno jack, thin sliced cheese, and already crumbled queso fresco, which I was really excited about this because I hate crumbelina. It gets all in my nails, and this is like the perfect thing. So that, and then some cereal. I got rice checks, multigrain Cheerios, and two things of Rice Krispies. OMG, are you guys tired? I am tired. I can't wait to pull all of this stuff, put it all away. I, it was like such, such a big haul. I don't even know that I'm going to have room for all of it. Let me show you guys because someone commented saying that they like to see the before and after. And Oh, and I inserted a clip of the meat and stuff that we bought too that's already in the freezer. So this is what my fridge looks like now. It's definitely not that bare. Could be more bare for sure. But that's what it looks like now. There. There and there. Um, here's one of our little freezers. And then this is a fridge. So to be honest, I probably just put extra juices and the wine in here. So those two probably won't change. And then let me show you. I didn't show you the freezer before, so that's not going to work. But let me show you the pantry. So that's what that looks like. We're definitely not barren at all. I mean, there's still plenty of food, but I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, things that wasted. Celery. It got all slimy at the bottom there. Uh, two cucumbers started growing fuzz and a little bit of spinach again started getting slimy. That's the only thing that got wasted this time. Okay, here is the after. Very meticulously laid out um, because I have a lot of things that are for holidays. So not, I mean, actually it's more fridge stuff. I rearranged a bunch of things down here. Took out our recycling trash can. I definitely need a bigger pantry than my next house. Costco size. Although I can't complain. This is bigger than probably a lot of people have. But I would enjoy a bigger pantry. And then we have all this here. I did stock up in here. I put larger fruits here and juices there. Didn't add anything here. And then here's the fridge. The fridge is what really got the brunt in. Um, I don't think I added anything over here. Put a bunch of stuff here and here and here. And then here. It, and I mean, it goes all the way back. Like everything is super stacked. Like you can see everything's stacked. And it's stacked behind there. And it's stacked all the way back. And there's like rows and rows of stuff everywhere. And the fruit bin is completely full and the vegetable bin is completely full. So yeah, that is what we got. And actually, I didn't even put any of this away because this is all for recipes for sweets and different things. So I was like, why even put it away? I'm gonna use it all anyway. Same thing with the sweet potatoes and the chips bananas and cantaloupes so not bad so that was a long one i know super super big haul i hope you guys enjoyed it as always i realize our food choices are not exactly what your family's food choices may be and that's okay no judgment from me i expect no judgment from you but i appreciate any feedback you guys can give maybe like did you guys have a super serious haul for the holidays um at least i would know i'm not alone so anyway <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one bye